Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us at today's weekly Wednesday webinar. Before we begin, just a quick housekeeping announcement. Our speakers will be taking questions for today's presentation. So if you do have any questions, please feel free to submit them via the Q&A button at the bottom of your screen. With that, I shall now hand over to our first speaker for today, Victor from DMS Imaging. Victor, please. Yes, hi everyone. Thanks for organizing this webinar. Thanks for welcoming us. So today I will present you DMS Imaging, the company I work for. So um, to introduce myself in a few minutes, uh, I'm Victor, so Area Sales Manager for DMS Imaging. We are a French manufacturer of X-ray product and bone densitometry solution. So our vision uh, as a French industrial company is to be specialized in radiology with uh, an international reach and uh, recognized as a key factor and indispensable partner in creating value through the quality of our solution. Uh, thanks to that, we have important partners uh, who decided to trust us as OEM. I will speak a bit later about that. Just to introduce us with the key figures, um, DMS Imaging, it's 35.3 million turnover in 2022. So even with the COVID, we had a, a growth. So that's nice because uh, for this year, we have a target of uh, 40 million uh, euro turnover. Uh, we represent more than 120 employees. Uh, basically, I'm the only person uh, located in uh, Asia in uh, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, but uh, all, the, all my colleagues are located in South of France at the headquarters. 25% of uh, the employees are dedicated to research and development. Uh, we've been existing for 40 years. 75% uh, of our turnover is uh, through export. That is why it's really important for us to participate to exhibition like uh, Medical Fair Asia, uh, because uh, we count on our distributors, uh, distribution network as well, uh, to, uh, to distribute and promote our product all over the world, mainly uh, at the international scale. So we, we've been working with more than uh, 140 distributors all over the world. We are quoted uh, as a French stock exchange as well, and we have one main site in Galar le Montieu. And uh, just to conclude this slide, uh, like many of uh, my uh, colleagues here, we are part of uh, French Healthcare, which is a French association to promote the French expertise in the healthcare industry. So this is our turnover. So as I said previously, we are manufacturer of X-ray product and bone densitometry solution. Uh, radiology is basically our historic uh, forces, uh, but um, bone densitometry solution are increasing a bit. And um, especially for Asia, it's a solution we sell a lot. This is a nice photo of our factory. So this is a factory we opened two years uh, ago. So we are landlord of this factory. It is where uh, the production plant is located. It is where the headquarters are located, uh, sales team, after sales uh, service team. It is a high factory which uh, allowed us previously to double our uh, production capacity. A really nice place to work on. I like to, to come back to France to be within this factory. Regarding the quality charter, um, we are ISO certified, C certified, of course, and for some of our products, um, we are FDA certified as well. Previously, I was picking uh, of our partners, um, and we have a really nice industrial partners we can count on, uh, like CPI for generators, you work for flat panel detectors, because today most of our products are DR, digital, uh, equipped with flat panel detectors, Thales uh, for flat panel detectors as well, uh, 3D DEXA, which is a, an option I will talk about later. And um, what is really important regarding this slide is our major distribution contracts, meaning that um, we are OEM for Canon, Fujifilm, and Carestream, you certainly know well. Uh, that means that um, we manufacture our radio and fluoroscopy system and our bone densitometry system 
for Canon, Fujifilm, and Kerstfilm. So these are major uh, distribution contracts, and they represent at least 30, 40% of our turnover uh, in 2022. This is the international meetings we are uh, part of. So uh, French Radiology Congress, Medica in Dusseldorf, RSNA in Chicago, Arabels in Dubai, uh, ECR in Vienna, and uh, today we will mainly focus on Medical Fair Asia, uh, which will attend in Bangkok this year. This is a full product range we have. So our flagship product are RF remote tables, that means radio and fluoroscopy tables. We have also bone densitometry system, uh, red rooms, CM, mobile retrofit kits to upgrade from analog to DR version, and mammography. In Asia, we will mostly sell bone densitometry and a bit of radiology like RF remote tables. So this is a flagship product I am talking about, the Platinum Neo, which is the radiography and fluoroscopy system. Uh, basically, this table will allow you to, to perform uh, several exams, like uh, bones exam, thorax exam, um, all kinds of bone exam you can do uh, with conventional radiography exam, but fluoroscopy as well. Fluoroscopy is like radiography, but it is a film. Uh, it is when you drink a contrast liquid and you can follow this contrast liquid uh, through your body to uh, understand if um, every channel of your body is working well. Our flagship product is also the Stratos, which is a bone densitometer. A bone densitometer table is really interesting to prevent from fracture risk and from osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is a, an important disease which will mainly affect uh, the aging people market and uh, mostly women after menopause. Osteoporosis is a disease where uh, you, you are losing some minerals within your bones and it increases the risk of fracture. And this is um, a table, a system which can prevent from that. This is an example of our platinum, so radiography and fluoroscopy system. And uh, what is really interesting uh, with this system is that we really integrated uh, the last generation and technology for to promote a high-end RF table on the market. In Asia, we have many, many competitors many local manufacturers uh, we are struggling to fight against them because they can produce at very low cost uh, so our strategy for asia and for europe is really to focus on high-end uh, solution um, like Siemens can do or uh, uh, general electrics can do uh, this is really interesting to 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 win market share you have to promote something really special and something that will help to have a sharper diagnosis for operators and for hospitals. That's why we have many, many technologies and added value within this table. Um, including uh, these um, technologies, we have a smart flow, a smart solution that will uh, revolutionize the RF workflow. This is mainly due to the um, software. We've been developing a lot of the software uh, to help the patient to be uh, more relaxed to have a sharper exam and to have sharper diagnosis at lowest x-ray dose and this is mainly due to technology assets and we have also smart pilot uh, new design with new interfaces for a seamless workflow because uh, the software and the machine the platinum has been designed uh, with the operators for the operators so we had to 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 create something really user friendly And this is an option I wanted to talk about, about the bone densitometry system. So this is a 3D DEXA. So you understood that a bone densitometry system, BMD, can help you to prevent fracture risk, uh, to determine the quantity of minerals within your bone. Uh, so it gives you a, a 2D uh, representation of your bone. 
And this is an option we developed and we are the only to offer on the market. This is a 3D DEXA. It gives you a 3D part of your bone uh, and it can give you the, the density, uh, the mineral density within and outside, outside your bone in the cortical part and trabecular part. And this is really interesting because it helps to better discriminate fracture risk. Uh, it really helps to choose best treatment through precise monitoring because it, um, it, you can know really which part of your bone is weaker and so adapt to the best treatment to avoid the fracture risk. You have a precisely follow up uh, patient with high risk of fracture because BMD, uh, what is really interesting uh, about is all the follow up you can have for your patient. Uh, it is um, an exam you should really do on a regular basis. Um, and we have a nice software which helps to follow up the patient and to know if the uh, disease is increasing or decreasing thanks to the treatment. And finally, open up to a new application muscle body because with this machine, you can have all your body composition, the percentage of grease, the percentage of muscle you have within your body. So uh, it helps to prevent from uh, some disease like sarcopenia. Sarcopenia is uh, affecting aging people and sarcopenia is when you lose some muscle. So it helps to, to prevent from this disease as well. So basically our system can help you to become an expert in diagnosis of fracture risk for any kind of hospital. Uh, this is a global turnover. So um, as you can see, we mainly do uh, our turnover within Europe and Asia Pacific is only 7%. That's why I'm located in uh, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam to help to increase this part uh, of turnover. And uh, it's working right now. We're still suffering a bit from a COVID effect, but still uh, turnover is increasing. Uh, our um, weak point is the radiography uh, system, radio and fluoroscopy system, which only represent 4% uh, in Asia Pacific because we have low cost uh, competition. And um, some hospitals are still really focused on the low cost. Uh, uh, system, but we are trying to do some pedagogy to make them understand that with uh, some high end features, you can better have a sharper uh, diagnosis, uh, a better diagnosis to, to treat your patient. And for example, we recently opened India and India is historically um, really difficult to, to sell uh, because they are really price oriented, but uh, recently, we just installed our first radio and fluoroscopy system uh, in New Delhi. Uh, and now uh, we are uh, analyzing that more and more hospitals are looking for high end features. So I think this radiology turnover will increase a lot uh, within the few years. And this is our bone densitometry turnover. So historically, uh, Asia Pacific is a really strong region and we are keep uh, increasing uh, this, uh, the cells of the, of the system. So uh, we have to keep pushing, it's encouraging. Um, and I hope that Medical Fair Asia we will help to increase uh, some new leads. And um, I wanted to, to thank you all for your attention. Thank you so much, Victor. So yes, um, if you have questions please, for Victor, please feel free to submit them via the Q&A button. And of course, you can also meet Victor and his team at their booth at A24A at Medical Fair Thailand, which will take place from 13th to 15th September. So now we hand over the stage to Arthur from Natya Sante. Arthur, over to you. Hi, nice to meet you all. Uh, so mm -hmm. I will share my, my screen. So nice to meet you all. First, I would like to, to apologize for Anais David, which, who is the general director of Natio Santé. She can't be there uh, today, but she will be attempted uh, at the Medical Fair Thailand uh, in September. So Natio Santé is a French reference of uh, indoor air solutions, um, quality solutions. And we are focused on the healthcare sector. So you can see that we, we will be at the booth A26 uh, um, in the fair. Okay. 
So who are we? Uh, we are a French uh, designer and manufacturer of professional indoor air solutions. Uh, we are producing devices made in France, uh, 100%. And uh, we have more than uh, 14 years of experience. So we, will, uh, we were there uh, before the COVID. We do have uh, worldwide references uh, in many sectors, so healthcare, education, and businesses, but uh, mainly in healthcare. Our mission is to act for better health and uh, about our values. So we do have a um, social commitment, expertise in guarantee of performances. Uh, we do have uh, certifications for that. And uh, we do have also a sustainable approach. Uh, I will explain it uh, later. So we are based in Not, in north of France. And uh, this is uh, where we are producing all the, the devices. So about the hospital hygiene, so we do know that there are like three parts of uh, hospital hygiene in general and hygiene, uh, disinfection and sterilization of medical devices. And we are focused on environmental hygiene. So we are focused on air because we know that there, there are also water surfaces and waste management. So we are active on this part. About medical environments, so we do produce uh, devices safe and reliable for patient care and protection for their health against the risk of infection. We, do, we are present in um, many places. So transplant department, issues, neonatology, as you can see on the picture, cancerology department, dialysis center, consultation rooms, and waiting rooms. So we are treating uh, pollution, air pollution in all these places. We are focused on two points. Uh, first, we want to protect staff, personal, medical personnel of um, hospitals and clinics and laboratories. So in different places, as I told you. Uh, infection disease department, uh, mortuary services about the smells, for example, or disease processing. And we do improve working and hosting conditions. So in patient rooms, laundry, changing rooms, break rooms, and restaurants. We do have some references in the, in the healthcare sector. Uh, we do have references in France, but also at um, international level. So you can see that we already sold our products uh, in Lyon, in Nantes, and in Pays du Mont Blanc in France. But we also sold our devices in Montevideo, in Uruguay, for example, or um, in Hong Kong, and, or in Australia. So you can see uh, all uh, on the pictures uh, our devices. So this is the Eoli Cell Manager. And you can see the, the size of, uh, of this product in real life. So our ranges is focused uh, on two, uh, two products. We do have uh, an EIQ monitor, which is new because we just launched it two months ago. And we do have also air purifiers. So we have the, the air coach, um, which is a, uh, an EIQ evaluation with uh, some indicators that we show ourselves uh, to show you uh, the, the, air, the indoor air quality. And uh, it will give you advice also. And we do have uh, two air profiles for the moment. And we do have one for the bad smells destruction and uh, another one for uh, a complete one with all the technology. Uh, for the healthcare sector. So as I told you, uh, we, we are innovative and we are creating added value uh, on our devices, with our, our devices. We guarantee performance over the time. We are designed for uh, professional uh, issues. We are eco-design and user-friendly versatile and mobile, mobile solutions, and we are producing Mad in France. So what about the first uh, device we created? Um, so this is a professional health profile that guarantees healthier. 
you can see right now the filter, the filtration system. So we do have uh, many filters on, uh, on this device and also an option uh, to add. So this is the deep clean mode. So in this device, it will last uh, 30 minutes, uh, 60 minutes. So we have a pre-filter, uh, very high density activity carbon filters for the others. We do have uh, an EPA 13 also. And uh, we do have also UVC lamps. You can see right now the touch uh, screen, intuitive touch screen. So we do have real time display of air quality. So you can see the, the indicators in uh, real time. Also the actual filter wheel measurement. So uh, you know when you have to change the filter system. We do have data history, scheduler, automatic intelligence mode. And uh, you can uh, have also a Nateo Connect, which is a service that uh, you have to add to this device. And we can uh, help you to, with all uh, the indicators you will have in the device to understand how to improve the indoor air quality in your office or hospitals. What about the second one? So Ejeolist, as I told you, is really focused on the others. So it could be lacking motor services and uh, also in uh, hostels. So we do have two filters on this one, a pre-filter and also a very high density active carbon filter. So th this will treat um, bad odors, bad smells and purified air. And now the last one, so the last device we launched, it's the monitor. So as you can see, it's very simple to understand. It will show you directly all the indicators. So it will permit to measure, to understand how good or bad is the, the, the air quality uh, in your room and predict to act because it will give you some advices. And uh, after it will have value and you can communicate on that. So you can see that we have an health uh, sanitary indicator and a global EIQ indicator, uh, which will show you if uh, you have to act for uh, a better air. So it will predict to act, as I told you. We have three lights, so three colors, red, uh, yellow, and blue. And uh, it will give you some advice, as you can see on the screen right now. But we have it also in, uh, in English. So. We don't want to be international. And uh, so you can see all the details right now uh, about uh, the general uh, director, Anais David, and also mine. So we will be there at the fair um, at the booth uh, A26 in September. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will be glad to meet all of you. Thanks. Thank you, Arthur. So yes, uh, Nato Sante will be there at booth A26. Um, so if you do have questions, submit it via the Q&A button at the bottom or see them in person at the show in September. And so now, last but not least, we have our last speaker for today, Benjamin from Tizalis. Benjamin, over to you. Good afternoon, everyone. Nice, nice, to, meet, nice to meet you. I will share my, my screen. So Tizalis, so, so nice to meet you again. My name is Benjamin. I am the Asia manager for, for Tizalis based in our Asia office. Uh, Tezalis, we, we are a French company as well, uh, based in, with headquarters based in the uh, south of France, in Toulouse, where they are also uh, known for making airplanes. Uh, we were founded about 10 years ago, and we manufacture, develop, manufacture in France devices for the on-site treatment of infectious healthcare waste. So we have a range of five machines dedicated for the on-site treatment of uh, medical waste in general. Uh, we mainly work abroad and outside of France. 95% uh, of our activity uh, is, is being achieved and made abroad outside of France uh, with some important activities in Asia and in Middle East. And uh, prior to COVID in 2020, we were uh, we used to to sell and to install about 500 units within 10 years, uh, so outside of Europe, and we have a, a growth coming mainly from uh, Asia and the Southeast Asia countries, including Thailand, uh, in particular. 
So how do we structure? We do have the development, the R&D office, the manufacturing, uh, all in France. Uh, the components are also 100% made, made in France to keep a control on the, the quality of the, the product and the device. However, since our activity is mainly made abroad, uh, we do work on the five continents. So the Americas, Europe, uh, Africa, Dubai, Middle East. So we do have some regional offices. So there is one for myself in particular. We have an Asia office here in uh, Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. So as of today, after the pandemic, we've uh, installed about 600 units. So we have 600 units worldwide that were installed with the help of uh, 90 distributors. So mainly we work with distributors in particular. And uh, the, the manufacturing plant remains in France. Uh, and uh, so we do we do welcome at time to time some, some of our partners, some visitors, some end user customers to visit the plant or to get some technical trainings as well in uh, there in France, in Toulouse. So this is our uh, portfolio, our uh, range of products. So we have five machines uh, dedicated for the treatment of medical waste. And we can assess uh, up to 100 kilograms of waste per hour with our units. So we will uh, mainly address small and medium-sized hospitals, uh, up to 500 beds uh, in general, uh, with uh, a target of beds or between 100 to 200, 250 beds which would be ideal for us because the units are quite small, compact, not, not industrial type. So we, we prefer to work uh, with uh, small and medium-sized hospitals. Uh, and coming with it, we have, of course, range of consumables uh, and uh, services such as the installation, the qualification, commissioning, testing, maintenance, and so on. To focus on uh, Asia, we performed the first installation in 2016 in Southeast Asia. And the countries leading the, the growth would be uh, in Asia, Indonesia, and the Philippines. So we have more than 100 units installed in both countries. Uh, and uh, recently, so after COVID, there, there is now uh, an interest coming from, from, from many countries for the treatment of the COVID-19 waste and of the waste coming from the pandemic, from all the surge of waste coming due to the pandemic. So all the installation, all the maintenance, all the end user training is mainly performed and made by the, our partners on site. So by our local distributors that are, as I said, trained by us in uh, either in France or locally. Uh, and we do also have activities in some uh, uh, developing countries and Indian countries, India, Nepal, Bangladesh as well. So what type of waste can we uh, will we assess? We will uh, assess uh, any kind of waste that is considered as infectious. So this waste can come, of, of course, from, from hospitals, from laboratories, uh, from small clinics, uh, from medical centers, um, and so on. And it will be uh, COVID-19 waste, of course, glass, metal, vaccine uh, bottles, uh, needles, sharpened boxes, hemodialysis waste, blood bags, pathological waste, pla placentas, small bones, and so on. All that kind of waste can be uh, treated uh, directly in our units. So generally, this waste is collected from the hospitals once or twice a week, and is brought to the incinerator. In our case, everything will be treated uh, and destroyed on site. So how does it work? I have a short video on the use of the units. So all the units work in the same way. The only difference will be the, the size of the units. So the waste is uh, generated inside the hospitals, inside the healthcare facilities by the patients, by the doctor. And the waste, instead of being uh, incinerated, it will be directly brought to the unit, which is small, compact, that we can install anywhere in a hospital. We will load the waste directly uh, from the top of the unit. We press start, and then everything will be uh, automatic. We don't need to stay next to the unit. And we first have a shredding process. So to reduce the volume and uh, the weight of the waste being, uh, being processed, we will shred the waste in small pieces of uh, of, of one centimeter waste maximum. We will segregate at the same time both liquid and solid waste. So liquid waste will fall down at the bottom of the machine, while solid waste will fall down in a, in a net. Once the shredding process is done, then we will sterilize 
the waste and sterilize the, the, the full unit, the full, the full system. So how do we sterilize? We, we are an autoclave. So steam sterilization with water uh, at 135 degrees during 10 minutes, which is the most uh, famous way of sterilizing uh, medical tools, medical equipment, and medical waste. So we are an autoclave. The autoclave is already integrated, built inside the unit. So we play on pressure. We reach 135 degrees during 10 minutes. And once the 10 minutes uh, are reached, we consider the full waste, both solid and liquid, and also the, the shredder, everything inside the machine as sterilized. And we will drain then the, exhaust the steam, drain the water, the liquids, and we will uh, remove the solid waste through a, a side door that we have, that we see here on the video. So we have, of course, less weight, less volume, no liquids, and this remaining waste are municipal waste and can be thrown in a municipal trash. It's not infectious anymore. We have, of course, uh, audit, so traceability tickets printed at the end of each cycle for audit purposes. Uh, and we have uh, here uh, just a, a quick example of uh, how it is after, how is the waste after being uh, uh, shredded. So the goal is to propose a solution on three main points. First, on the biological side, to, to, to reduce the biological risk directly on site. There is no need of collecting the waste, no need of handling the waste. Everything is treated directly on site. Second, to use an environmental friendly solution, only water and electricity is needed. And third, to have an organization tool, a new organization tool for the hospitals to be independent from the service providers that can decide of their own price policy. Generally, the hospitals, they pay per, per kilogram of waste. So the goal is to have a, a total control of the costs, of course, but also of what happened to the waste at the end. So we have here on the, the left side, some pictures that we took before performing some installations. So sometimes infectious waste is not always handling with uh, proper equipment, proper PPE equipment, masks, gloves. So there, there was, in some cases, some public health issue that needed to be addressed. So that was also the, the goal for us. So this is here some uh, of our pictures of, of our installations in uh, Middle East, Africa. For Asia, I have here some pictures. So we do also have uh, units installed in Thailand, in Bangkok. On the uh, international organization side, we do work with WHO itself. Uh, so they, they do recommend to use uh, our units and similar devices for the treatment of uh, medical waste directly on site for the hospitals to, to save money and to have a proper uh, understanding of, of what happened uh, to this waste in the end. So we mainly work with distributors. We have about 100 distributors as of today. Uh, we do work uh, with uh, international organizations, so NGOs, NPOs, the UNDP, uh, the UNICEF. We are uh, recently we are we are delivering units to to, to UNICEF uh, in in Mongolia uh, for for Asia particularly, uh, and we sometimes work in direct with governmental institutions, so ministries of health, environment, armies, depending on the the, the type of project, the type of uh, of um, of purchase and the, the, the situation. And to, to make the link with our participation to Medical Fair Asia. So this is the second time that we are going there as, a, as an exhibitor. Uh, of, of course, the, 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 the venue is uh, not as big as Medica or, or, or uh, Arabels. However, it's, it's always a good opportunity to meet uh, local, local actors, local distributors, local partners. Uh, so so we, we, we like and, and, and we uh, encourage uh, to go there as well, to conduct meetings and meet new people. So this is my, my, my own contact. However, we, we also have, a, we can also plan a, a meeting uh, at Medical Fair uh, Thailand, Medical Fair Asia, if, if you scan this, uh, this QR code. Thank you very much. Thank you, Benjamin. And um, let us look at the questions now. I think there were some questions that have been answered already, um, although one of them were asking for your installation in Malaysia. I assume this is with regards to Tasalis. So maybe Benjamin, you can uh, clarify on that. Yes. 
I don't see the question. Okay. Uh, yes, we do have an, an installation in Malaysia, one only, uh, that was made last year. Uh, small unit, small and compact unit for Malaysia. Uh, maybe you can clarify which uh, part of Malaysia. Okay, I just just saw the, the question. Okay, we have two hospitals in Malaysia. Yeah, but that, that's it. So it depends on the size. Depending on the size of the hospitals, I can I can advise some some units. Uh, so maybe we can get in touch late, later on to 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 answer uh, her, her, her Lawrence question, which is about two hospitals in Malaysia. Yes. So okay. So perfect. Um. So maybe uh, Lawrence can also connect with you after this. Um. We can also connect both of you and to take this discussion further. Perfect. So let us see if there are, if you still have questions, feel free to submit your questions. Uh, meanwhile, um, all our exhibitors here are part of the France Pavilion that will be showcased at Medical Fair Thailand from, from 13 to 15 of September. So you can also see uh, Tessalis at booth A26A at the show. And let me just uh, share my screen. If you have not yet registered for the show, we welcome you to register soon. So you can register by clicking on this QR code to join us at the show where you can meet with these exhibitors, um, the entire French pavilion, the three of them, and more. Uh, we are a sold out show with over 800 exhibitors that will be there uh, this September. I think we have, okay. So I think Lawrence have also mentioned that they have um, additional uh, facilities in Singapore as well. So that I will leave uh, Benjamin to connect with Lawrence after this. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of today's webinar. Uh, this is a weekly series. So we have more webinars coming up. The next one will be next Wednesday. So uh, the speaker lineup and topics are available on our website. If you are keen to join us, please take a look at, uh, at our website and you'll be able to register for the respective webinars. So with that, I thank you, all our speakers and all our attendees for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you in Bangkok. Goodbye. 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 Thank you.